You need water? <laughs> you really done? <laughs> People, you've asked me many times how much it costs <laughs> to take care of your dogs. I, do, I see you do the billing boards all the time. <laughs> hey, I'm like adding up. I'm like, oh, you missed this, you missed that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so let's just take a look here. For one, let's look at that bottom line. The total says $92,000. <laughs> this is just expenses puppy supplies dog food nutrition dog kennel south buffalo animal hospital twelve thousand dollars c-sections you know it that, that surgical only, inseminations for the frozen semen seven thousand for animal hospital not, i'm not cutting no dogs storage. <laughs> guys i was choking because when i seen it I ain't have no water in my <laughs> <laughs> So, if you don't mind, for one, oh man, let me just, let me take this in, people. That's that's 90,000 good. Some people don't make that in a year. He spends that to keep this thing running, man. Why? <laughs> the better the dogs. <laughs> when, when somebody tell you it's about the dogs, this is about the dogs. This is about the dogs. $90,000. Awesome dogs, man. I'm producing better dogs. And I can tell you, I've seen a lot of dogs in my life, and these have been some of the ones I've enjoyed most seeing. So, uh, a pair, I mean, man, you've got this all listed. I'm pretty anal. <laughs> <laughs> Very organized, I try to be organized. It, it gets you hard sometimes. Fl fl flights to dog puppy shots, well, this is, go and give one more view of that. We're gonna talk about this. So we talk about the dog business a lot of times. Clearly what goes into it is not always documented. And unfortunately, as you know, especially ones on my line hit me with the man, I thought I could get rich or I thought this and I was gonna do this business. Yeah. I'm gonna start my business. That's a business, man. And you're taking care of business. So in your case. And this ain't buying dogs. No, that's no, that, there, the, there's no. This is the breed, produce, <laughs> litters, have litters, raise that's, litters. That's $90,000. <laughs> and wasn't a dog sold on that thing. Yeah, it ain't a dog sold on that. <laughs> that's I no purchases there on dogs. No, that's that's all money going out, man. Why, for one, why, why does this mean so much to you? Because that right there speaks values. You can't say you don't care and spend that much and ain't sold a dog per se. But like, why does this mean so much, man? Uh, I'm really anal. I like to try to perfect and put as much as I can into whatever I do. Yeah. Um, sometimes I go a little deep. If you've seen my bike collection, you'd be like, what? <laughs> why? <laughs> why you got 48 bikes, 50 bikes? You know, like, why? why? But um, I'm just that type of person. I, I fall in love with what I do. So when I get start doing something, I wanted to get to the highest point it possibly and then keep going with it. So in this case, we have a real bill. What yeah. would be you? How much money do you think a person needs to start? Just based on what you spend. Start a program. Start a program and make sure that it's done actually correctly. 150 grand. Because <laughs> well, you gotta buy you gotta buy two dogs. You may have to buy some semen to do another second breeding. Um, and, and a lot of supplies. And and the this is twenty two. I didn't buy all this stuff until twenty three. So you know you see my twenty three last year's invoice is about hundred and sixty nine thousand. <laughs> <laughs> well, you like I this. mean, just to fill these tanks with nitrogen is about $150 every four or five weeks, you know, which is not bad, but oh, bro, and that's, that's what, that's, bad. that's what they're having a, a business license to get. If you didn't have a business license to get that, it's $444 to fill up those two tanks. Oh, wow. So you had to go pay for the business license. I had to go get a license in order for air gas to actually let me, allow me to buy the gas. And then you get it at a, a discounted price. Jesus So it's Christ. expensive. No, this this is expensive. But I was spending almost three thousand dollars a year because I had semen in, in different countries, different almost every state. I had semen everywhere because when I buy it for somebody, I just leave it stored where it's at, and then when I use it, I would ship it. But now I started opening up my own cryo bank and store my own. Now I'm technically saving three thousand dollars a year because I'm not paying everybody else to store it. Now I just store it myself, and now it only costs me about twelve hundred dollars a year. Oh man, so you cut your costs, and, but that's other and if I collect a few people's studs and store it from, then you know I make my twelve hundred dollars back. And that part right there, that's what you call long term investing. Yeah, it's a long term. So you, investment. you say, oh, I'm gonna spend this today, so I don't have to spend that later because I know I'm gonna do this for at least this time frame. Yeah. 
lots and lots of uh, long term. What's the, so then? What's the hardest part about starting? Because you know, Max said this in a live that he and I did, and he said, "If you ain't got twenty to lose, don't start. If you ain't got lost twenty, a lot. twenty <laughs> grand to lose, don't start." So in yeah. this case, I lost twenty quite a, a few times. Twenty racks, at least three times. Reading's not taken, and it's all from not having the, the education. <laughs> if I knew what I know now, I would have done certain things differently or not done things at that time, and I would have saved that money. And so what's one of the things that you we wish you knew that would have saved you a lot of money at that time? Well, we're all breeders, right? So it comes down to the proper way and a proper time to breed. You gotta have a progesterone machine with the, over there. You gotta test yeah. the progesterone every other day. You need to know the exact timing that from the LH surge, then you gotta find the ovulation. And then if you have those two numbers, you know when the time in the breeding is. Mm -hmm. Two days later after ovulation, as long as you have the LH surge and, and then two days later, she hits ovulation. Two days following that, she's got three days where a, cer uh, a cervix is open where she can take the semen and breed. Oh. If you're too early, the semen goes in the cervix and back out, doesn't hit the, the, um, the damn, I just had a brain fart. <laughs> doesn't get to the eggs, <clears throat> Yeah, per se. That hole is only open for three days. So the semen hits that a day early, half a day early, or even breed or two, a day, two and a half, three days, and it starts closing up, the semen is even getting in. Yeah. So what we do with frozen semen is you have to do surgical, just a better way. The semen only lives for about six to 12 hours, depending on the metrology of it. Um, so we do surgical AIs with that, but you have a better outcome with the surgical because now it's not, nothing swimming per se. Yeah. You just open up the tubes, you're dropping the semen right on top of the eggs. All they could do is touch it, grab the eggs, and you got puppies. So that's why you get bigger litters with frozen. You get more puppies with frozen because you're dropping them right on top of the eggs. Right on top Where of you them. lose about 50% of it when it's swimming try, up the cervix trying to get to the, to, the, to the eggs. Interesting. Well, some people also believe that when you do a surgical that it sometimes can cause more stress on the female. Is no, that true? It's very no. minimum. I mean, the, the, they, do a, they don't put them like super super down under it's very it's a little cut they pull it out it takes about no we've minutes. actually seen it so we're we've actually got it oh, there um, you go. documented with tadlock it's quick it is yeah. it's quicker than you think it's like yeah. s they put them they put them down i mean they have to you know but um they, it's not like when you do a c-section it drains them yeah but but the c the those i mean i get pick up the female that same day and she's running around like pretty much normal yeah and then 30 it, it, 30 45 doesn't minutes, stress them out no it doesn't kill the semen or anything like that. It doesn't stress out the babies or the eggs or any of that. But that's the biggest thing is is the timing on things. Knowing how to use frozen, knowing how to use chilled freezing or, or, or frozen or chilled, you have to know how to use those things properly. And that's where a lot of people jump into this game. They're like, oh, I bought semen from this guy for $15,000 and the breeding didn't take. I'm never going to use frozen semen again. You didn't know what you were doing. Well, you listened to the wrong vet. They didn't yeah. know how to do surgical. Which they didn't know how to work with frozen semen. Or you took it upon yourself to save you $110 because you didn't want to run an, an extra progesterone and you got the timing wrong. Hey, so look, you got to put the time in. You have to I, do all the steps. Every step has to be done every time. I, I get that those questions many times. Hey, man, uh, what days can my dogs hump each other? You go, <laughs> well, what are you talking about? <laughs> what day? What day is it? Man? Oh, he's wrong. You're like, <laughs> Brother, we run tests, and, and those tests are not cheap, as you talked about, yeah. which is why clearly you have the machine. Yeah. Every test costs, depending on what hospital we go to, uh, 60 80 and upwards of $110 $200, at times. $200, yeah. Oregon is $200 for a progesterone. Oregon? Oregon. 200 for a progesterone? $209 for a progesterone test. Why? Just why? And they ain't even sent it out to a lab. That's in-house. Oh, that's crazy. You know what's crazy? Sometimes they'll send it out, which cuts the price. So if it's in-house, it's actually more expensive sometimes. Yeah, like here in Vegas, uh, most of the vets will do in-house are cheaper. If they send it out to the lab, they have to give them their cut. So it's a little more expensive. Yeah. Guys, you've asked me many times, what does it cost? How to get into the dog business? For one, it's going to cost some saving. And savings means you have to have a plan. I've gone back to having a plan, which is one of the most important things to get you where you want to go. When you have no plan, you've already failed realistically. So I'm, I'm guessing you had a plan, which you did. I did, but I didn't have a mentor in the beginning. So that's why I say I lost all the money in the beginning. I didn't have a mentor. I didn't have, I had, uh, I had a guy that I bought a dog from that became my best friend. Yeah. Thank you for him. Um, 
he's my best friend today. I bought yeah. my first dog from him for my breeding program. Um, but he also didn't have a lot of knowledge. He was also hands in. He's <laughs> doing only, things. We're only laughing because you know I always say get a I mentor. I wish I had a mentor. A dog, yeah. I really wish I had somebody that really knew how to do all these things because, uh, man, losing $20,000 a hit is, is a lot. You, know, you may only make 20 grand off a litter and you just did all that free work for, for eight eight to ten weeks for nothing plus the two weeks prior you did the breeding and, and the traveling and the air flights and it's chipping the semen and it's it's a lot man it's a lot of parts and and you know so if you don't have a mentor you know by all means you can reach out to me ask me questions man I, I'm, I'm happy to help anybody save some money because nobody wants to lose you know the money this is already expensive as it is man look and this is the truth this is the proof I've never seen it detailed in this way, but this is clear. Um, from Petco to Chewy to eBay, uh, as far as buying dog kennels, you're looking at everything that he's doing with the company's description. And it's funny because you have a discount section. I don't see any discounts. So when people say, <laughs> man, can I get a deal? Do it look like he got a deal? Yeah. <laughs> on anything? No, there was no discounts uh, on any one of these prices. You, you, you see what I'm saying? Yep, no it discount. was just costs going in, well, money going in, and, and hope coming out. Well, I hope this works. I got I got another thing you could you could take a look at real quick. Yeah, this this right here. This is clear. This is Stud storage five ten. <laughs> My man. This is a shoebox. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got I got one to make you. Yeah, this this is a nice transaction. Nice scent for semen. <laughs> that's the $35,000. People say, your dogs are $3,500. That's too much. Just say, don't worry. Don't worry. I'm going I'm, to I'm hold it here. They got to see this. Man, I paid thirty five grand for that semen. It's been sitting in that tank for three years. So, I ain't gotten none of those, none of that investment back yet. Uh, I will. Can you see But it? you have to think ahead. You have to plan ahead. This, and, and the price of this might have went up. And I got, I, and then that's a deal. That was a deal. <laughs> on that semen. <laughs> and how many straws is that? Four breedings. Four, four straws. Now, if I don't have the knowledge I have now, and I bred one of those, wasted. I could waste one, two. I could waste all four breedings <laughs> and be out thirty-five bands plus the vet C sections and all. That's another three grand, four grand a piece on top of the semen. You're looking at you could lose technically fifty, sixty thousand dollars if you didn't do all those breedings properly. Yeah. You know, I'm 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 very rarely speechless of taking it back, but I love clarity and this is clear. I mean, we got twenty twenty. You have to invest. And a lot of people don't want to invest. I you know, and that's not only invest in more stock, stuff, but invest in knowledge. Part, but when you start talking that part, when you start talking about these things, I try to you know talk to these guys too about what we're doing. Like we're all living at zero to a degree, right? And if you about to start a new business, you say, mm -hmm. well, what does the future look like? It looks like a lot of work, a lot of risk. Minimal reward. Always and, risk. There's risk in everything we do. Which is which that's takes you back to the word chance. I got to take a chance on myself because yeah. if I'm rolling the dice or betting on me, we win. But this kind of shit here is 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 a. I haven't gone on my. Let's just put it this way. I've been doing this. I've been having litters for about nine years, nine nine ten years, and. With all the pups, everybody thinks I'm so rich because you, I'm selling puppies for 15000 12000 I do. I sell pups for a good amount of money, top picks, you know, with papers and all that. But realistically, I maybe have came to a wash with all my investments in equipment and all the stuff I've learned. Um, so you basically broke an even. Now, that semen that's in that tank is potentially what I can use to start getting my money back, finally. And that's after 10 years of work. Yeah. And $60,000 plus losses and holding some of your investments. Sometimes an investment where you got to hold a little bit. And this says 2022, people. We're in 2024 now. I'm still buying semen. And he's still buying I'm about semen. to send 16 grand to somebody right now for two more breedings. Because I have to. In so, order to so keep, let me be very in order to keep these lines going the way it's going and don't keep affecting the Don't reach out to him and ask for a pup for free. <laughs> and don't ask me for shit for free. <laughs> We've got too much invested in terms of time, energy, effort, knowledge, intent, and care. And so when you, you come, it's like, bro, I'm not doing this because I'm like, oh, I got dogs. Or you mean people that said, man, you ever go send your dogs overseas? I don't, I don't need that mark for me. I don't care. Like, hey, man, y'all got dogs in the UK. That doesn't mean anything to me. I need you to take care of them here in America. <laughs> you know? So send them overseas doesn't make me more rich. It just sometimes causes more problems. Um, and we already know that the American bully is struggling over there. 
Uh, and there are people who have to walk those dogs right in and get them all fixed and some of them put them down. That's, that's a whole thing in itself. But for one, we can't thank you enough for you, you being as candid as you've been. Thank and you. this is clear. Are you asking me, what does it cost? If you're doing it right and you want to get it right, you want consistency. You say, how do I start my bloodline? How do I do this correct, that correct? Guys, it costs. They say it costs to be the boss. And I assure you, to be a real boss, it, they don't even call themselves bosses. They're just employees. <laughs> and it's not, and not even it's just the money investment. You got to put the time. You really have to learn the ins and outs of every part of you know breeding. There's there's so many parts. I mean, I'm, I'm still learning stuff. And I had Thanks. 30 something litters. I'm over 30 litters, almost 300 productions now. You know, my next litter will be close to 300 productions, and I'm still learning cool little things. You know, to save money and to produce the dogs better to raise the dogs better. Yeah. You know, we want these dogs to live, aesthetically we want the dogs to look the best possible. But now we basically got there, I told you, it's health. Health is number one. <laughs> health, the dogs have to be healthy. We, we don't want to spend all this money, even if you got the dog for free. Why do you want to spend 10 years of your life raising a dog that you got to keep taking to the vet? You got to feed it certain, a certain food, a certain diet. You know, you can't take them outside longer than five minutes, you know, like, that's sad, you know. The pet, pets are, are something uh, we're ha we're grateful to be able to have, and as a as a you know, just give us love, that extra yeah. love. You know, dogs just want to love you. Man, it's, it's annoying sometimes. I'm not even a loving person, but I enjoy as you know. Ego's got free range in the house now. My my boy hanging out, having a good time, roaming around. Even leave the door open. He stays on his couch. He, he sleep upside down. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah, Happy he, doggy. He definitely he definitely balls up looking crazy. He's like, hey, man, yeah, what you yeah. doing? Looking huh? Well, we about to do something. If we're not, I'm back to sleep, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, come here. He's like, man, you don't mean that. I know that tone. That tone means you playing, but we ain't about to play, so get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, stay tuned. Take care, you dogs. We're going to go over DNA in the next one.